Hey, wrestling fans, East Coast Professional Wrestling, Gino Caruso, along with the reinforcer, Andrew Anderson. We got some great action this week. Oh, you didn't, you didn't talk about it. But we're going to see a late heavyweight match with Love Jones against Dirtbag Dan. Fans, let's oh, go man. right to the action. Greetings. I'm the Lost Boy, Orlock. And thank you for inviting the vampire that is myself into East Coast Professional Wrestling. Tonight, I go one-on-one -on -one with Ray Kalitri. I cannot wait to sink my fangs into the competition. That referee Charlie taking control. Collar and elbow tie up. Whoa, arm drag on Orlock. Keep the guy off balance. Orlock puts his arm up in defense, or is that he's making believe he has his cape on? I don't know what the hell that is. And that was in slow motion, oh boy. Right there. Fans, do not adjust your sets. My God. Look at that. Look at that. Uh -oh. Orlock, Orlock going with a head scissor. Orlock's very cautious. You know, he's cautious, all right. I wouldn't want to be between those legs right there with that head scissor. Oh, look at that. Ray Kalitri, uh, Andrews, and tell the fans at home what, what some of the stuff you've been doing. I know uh, we're getting back to some live matches, seeing the fans. I know you always enjoy that. Fans oh, I love the fans. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be out here. I'm glad to have uh, got rid of that 220 pounds of dead weight called Doug DeVito. Yes. And uh, back here in the ring in ECBW. And uh, now we saw you last week. You had a tough matchup, Bell Monchero. Oh, oh we got to work oh, the Cowboy. Look at, look oh, look at that. He's biting him. He's biting him. That's a legal ref. You know, I, I, I got to tell you, I, I can't really say much because, I mean, I've bitten people before, but, oh, that was a shot from hell. It's pretty rough there. Orlock has a little bit more of a mean streak to him. I think he's been hanging upside down a little much in uh, the closet like, head. like Grandpa Al. <laughs> he's, he's going to that funny little head. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. He's, he's, really laying, he's him laying him in. Oh, my God. <laughs> Snap. Wow. Snap in the neck of, of Ray. Seemed, Covering uh, you know, him, yes, you don't get paid by the hour, or a lot good. One, two, going kick out. Like a metamorphosis, getting heavier. Oh, yeah. He seems to be slowing in his methodical style. I, I think in two years he's going to be 400 pounds. He keeps going the way he is. Oh, oh. sidekick, sidekick. Hit the ropes. Springboard elbow oh, by Ray on Orlock. Look at that. Down. Cover. One, two. Kicked out. Oh, Ray can move. Now, Ray's a good worker, man. I mean, whoa. Damn. What a kick to the face. Just when you think you had it all in control, Orlock whips out the boot to the face. You know, wrestling fans, we, uh, we love watching, having you watch us live on, on TV. But I mean, I see us on TV, but to come to our live events, uh, stay tuned to the end of the program, upcoming events where you can see ECW live. Look at that, he's choking him on the ropes. By the way, just for the record, we are having a social distancing crowd here today. Oh, yeah, everything, um, is, done everything is done correctly and according to guidelines, so to New Jersey guidelines. So uh, this is a social distancing event. And Orlock with Irish whip on Ray. Big elbow. Ray goes down. And Orlock is about to... Big leg drop on Ray by Orlock. Cover him, Orlock. You don't get paid by the hour, buddy. One, two. Yes, sir. Have you ever been in the ring with Ray no, I haven't. But you know what? I think it would be. Uh, I would have uh, um, my work cut out for me with that guy. Yeah, he's, he's a talented young guy. I mean, he, like I said, he coming back from an injury. We haven't seen him in, in quite some time. He had a really bad knee injury. He had to have surgery. On. Yeah, I remember that. I remember and that. You know something about that? Haven't I you? had my knees replaced, almost replaced at this point. They want to replace it. Oh, body slam by Orlock. Orlock showing some power. You know, I think a, a lot of the fans maybe don't understand that how difficult this business is on your body it took its toll on me I, I i'm a candidate for a knee replacement but you know i got these injections of gel that is, that is, nice oh there. look at that one two clotheslines by by ray big back elbow by ray he's firing up he's firing up kind of yeah, reminds me of rick mortel the way he's firing up you don't want to waste too much time to get in there and get this one oh he blocked the hip toss with a bite to the neck look at that I've never seen that before. I don't think that's Winds legal. up the arm. Sling blade. Sling blade. Look at that. That may have uh, that may have knocked him out. I think Orlock's got this one in the bag. No, it. two. No, he kicked out at two and a half. Yeah, the way his neck snapped, it looked like that might, he might yeah. have knocked out. Yeah. Getting back to it, I had some knee injections in the, in, 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 into my knee that cushioned it, added some uh, 
some false cartilage to me, which have given me a new lease on life. And as you can see, by last week, I feel a lot better than I have in years. I dropped some weight, and I'm, I'm getting ready to get to. For, I'm re getting ready for a for a title match, hopefully here in ECPW. It's been a while. Some type of title match coming up. I hope so. I can only hope so. Look at that. Oh, oh my nice God. There. Close line. Can, Sit out close line in the corner. Look can, at that. Can Ray Calitre capitalize on this? He's going up to the top rope. Look at this. What's he going to do? Look at this. Setting him up. Oh. Lancing, oh look at that. One, two. And, and Orlock and kicked quite, out. He didn't quite get all of that. You know, he didn't quite hit him with all of that. Wow. Orlock needs to get a 10, you know that, right? His lights are bouncing off of that. My God, the bald head of his. There you go. Whoa, one, two. He's got him. One, two, three. He yes. Him. Yes, he got him. Look at that. Caught, caught the vampire off balance. And the va well, I think the vampire has been off balance for quite a few years. Well... Do you think the vampire knows he's been pinned? Does he know where he is? I don't know. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Princemas. And tonight, I'm going to ruin Princemas for a very naughty little boy. Leo Alvaro, welcome to ECPW Adrenaline. Well, let me give you a choice in editing now. Leo Alvaro, it was nice having you in ECPW Adrenaline. You can play those both back to back. I'm Prince Agnan, and I approve of this message. Merry Princess. ACPW Adrenaline. Hi, Leo Alvaro will be making my Adrenaline debut. And tonight, I'll be taking on Prince Akhenaten. And I know the Prince likes to cheat and steal, but I would fold if I was him, because the wild card always has something up his sleeve. Uh, Andrew, oh boy, look at this. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. You know what? I'm looking, he's looking, he's got a lot to say. Oh, you know what? Uh, relax. I mean, oh, relax. I hear something vibrating every time Doug walks out. Why do I hear that vibrating, that vibrating you know, there, noise? There is history with you guys, and that's the, always going to be there. Did he swallow a hummingbird? Or is there something else involved? Um, I hear that bzzz. Something wrong with the Vito. There's something wrong with the both of those guys. He's leaning to the side. He ain't straight. Do you remember Abbott and Costello meet the mummy? He yes. looks like one of the swamis. <laughs> Prince looks like one of the swamis in Abbott and Costello meet the mummy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was just on TV. I have been instructed by Dr. Salido to announce him as Douglas. the current manager of the year. Douglas DeVito. His opponent, from New York City, 170 pounds, Leo Alvaro. A newcomer here. Well, let's see this guy, Leo. Who is he? A youngster, huh? This young kid right here, Leo, what's his last name? <laughs> I know, I'm telling you. It's like McDougal's house. It is, I'm telling you. I think DeVito brings out the best of these guys. Listen, DeVito, shut your mouth, DeVito. Pay attention. Hey, are you jealous? Because Anderson's sitting here and he doesn't need you. Hey. DeVito, listen to me. Let me ask you a question, DeVito. Was he was he one of the extras in Abbott and Costello Meet the Mummy? He looks like the Swami. He looks like the Swami. Uh, uh, listen to me. What's that, that vibrating sound every time uh, you hear it? Let's get back to the matchup, gentlemen. Newcomer here. Uh, 
Leo Alvaro. Arms, arm drag by Leo. Leo Alvaro. Alvaro just gave an arm drag and an arm bar. He's got an arm bar on Prince. You did. You made me what? You made what? No, thank you. Okay, well. I think it's all forgotten. Let's, let's, let's focus on arm, another arm drag and carries him over. He reversed the arm drag and carried him over. I think Prince Akhenaten has his hands full over here. Yeah, you know, you, you've Prince, been in a ring with Prince many times. Not quite the technical wrestler. I don't think he knows a wrist lock from a wrist watch. But, but you know what? Competitor. He's a tough guy. He's, he's small in stature, but he's tough. I mean, look at that. Every time he moves, you see the sand fleas fall out of his armpit hair. And this youngster is, you know, making Oh, he's fired up. Another arm drag. Look at this. He might have to change the color of his tights because he's so white and kind of blends. I know, Casey. Okay, so he needs to get a tan. Oh, I went for another arm drag. And Is that what it was? Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. I'm surprised he got the prince up. You know, the prince well, the prince is down a few pounds. Yeah, he's still a portly individual. Oh, uh, portly, yeah, you know. but And you know, Doug likes those portholes, you know. So it's portly and porthole going the same thing. He's got him by the beard. Look at that. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. But you know what? Prince is no stranger to illegal things. Oh, he didn't get him. He didn't get him. Uh oh. You know, it's tough. This is where Prince is most dangerous outside of the ring. It's tough to train for somebody that you haven't seen wrestle before. Yeah. So there's no tapes on this Leo Alvaro. But, there's nothing but, you can go by. But you also have to admit this, and I will tell you this out of personal experience. Prince Akhenaten can adapt yeah. to any type of oh. wrestling style around. He is he is a vicious, vicious competitor. Cunning, cunning. cunning yes, cunning. You better stand in my way. The, the Vito can't see. He didn't bump into the cameraman. Is the Vito okay? Is the Vito okay? He looks more orange than usual. He's, uh, he's leaning from the inside. He's not straight. He's never been straight. Oh. Hey, the Vito. He's not paying attention to me over here. Pay attention to your man in the ring. You're leaning to one side again, DeVito. You haven't been straight in years. Prince with a vicious kick to the midsection of, of Leo. Another kick. And, and you know, Prince is vicious. Man. He's wearing him down. He's a tough competitor. Slingshot him out doing? of the corner. What's he doing around here? That was a move that DeVito taught him. Not even, see, here's the thing with DeVito, not even paying attention to his own man in the ring. He's too busy trying to get my goat. He's trying to get out here, he's trying to look around, see what he can grab. Yeah, you gotta watch, you gotta watch your uh, wallet around DeVito. Oh, yeah. Oh, vicious forearm to the back of Leo by Prince. Akhenaten with a, oh my God, a chop to the throat. Two. Kicked out of two and a half. This kid's pretty tough for a youngster. You know, making his debut here at ECW, and you, you know, you take any. Hey, DeVito, you look at that. That's of typical course. DeVito. That's it. Of I know from experience, DeVito never lets you wrestle your own matches. Always has to stick his hands where they're not supposed to be. DeVito, you can't. He's always got to put his hands on. Look men. at that. Uh, well, that's hence that's why he hasn't been straight in years. Prince having some words for our fans here. He threw him with such force, he dropped himself. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at that. Drop toe hold on the kid. So there seems to be still, there's still an issue there with you guys. It's yeah, not I, th solved. I think it's not it really solved. Not. I think we're going to have to solve you know, it soon. It, that, that, that situation was coming to a head. Yep. And unfortunately, because of the pandemic, it never really happened. Uh, but those those body slam yeah. by Prince on Leo. Those bad feelings and tensions are still there. Of course, they never left. You know, I mean, how much, how, how many hundreds of thousands of dollars has Devito ripped me off? He's of? stolen people left and right. He's a thief. You're a thief. You're nothing more than a lousy thief. Pay it. Pay attention to the ring. Pay attention to the ring. Oh yeah. Okay. That's what that. They're all locked in your closet at home. Here we go, look at this. Prince is wasting a little too much time. 
I think he went, look at that. That's where he loses balance. I think they have medicine for that, Prince. Clothesline by Leo. Leo's Another awesome. clothesline by Leo. Double axe handle ducked by Leo. Wow. Oh, what was that? Looked like kind of sling, sling blade. blade. Orlock's going to be upset. Orlock's going to be upset with that. I think we need to put the two of them together, but you better have the canvas. It better wow. be a darker color, or you won't be able to see them. You look like the number 10. Oh, my God. I think Prince is a little disoriented. Monkey flip. Monkey flip on the God. Arab Prince. That was a monkey flip on a camel. If the can get out of the way. Go for another monkey Another monkey flip. flip. Oh. Went to the well one too many times. Oh, his feet are on, feet are on the ropes. Hey, ref, the feet are on the hook. Oh, my God. Oh, you got to be kidding. Prince Arpanate. By the skin of his teeth, I told you he is one of the most He's underrated, funny. unpredictable, unorthodox, and evil men in this ring. Oh, Daddy, welcome back to Nirvana, baby. You see, it's been a long time coming. Dirtbag Dan's been defending his title here and there and everywhere, kind of like Dr. Seuss, baby. But tonight, the happy ending is coming to Nirvana because I'm leaving here your light heavyweight champion, Daddy. So feel the love. Michael Love Jones, you forget. I'm the god father of Phil Dort Bag Din. I am the first ever at ECPW to hold a junior division and an adult title. I am a junior division champion and the ECPW light heavyweight champion. Jones, you and your Nirvana have nothing. Nothing you can touch me with. And tonight, you realize why I'm just... Plain filthy. God, here comes a I combination. Like Love Jones, a combination of Jimi Hendrix and Timothy Fury. And a little metal maniac. Uh, a little metal maniac inside him. Gino, was he swimming to the ring? He's floating. He's floating, all right. That's a love. Uh, feeling it. Him got it. He's feeling it. I don't know if I am. Him got it. Love Jones spreading the love in the ring right now. And here's his opponent. He is the current ECPW light heavyweight champion. From a van down by the river, he weighs eight bags of garbage. The dirtologist, Dirtbag Dan. Hold on, I can smell him right now. Yeah, he's rancid. <laughs> Here comes Dirtbag Dan. Oh my God! I can smell him all the way to, since you got through the curtains. One whiff of him and would make your mama pass out, and your mama lives in Albuquerque. Now this, this is a matchup. A matchup between Dirtbag Dan and Love Jones. Can you feel the love and can you smell the Dirtbag? Dirtbag Dan holding up that, that ECBW light heavyweight title to the crowd. Love Jones spreading the love to the fans. I'm not sure they care for him. Ah. Do you know, I think that's the worst thing Dirtbag Dan could have done was take off that, that, that vest. I smell him all the way here. Well, he's, he's very odoriferous. Well, I, could, I, I can't smell the love, but I can smell the dirt. This is an interesting matchup. Hey, what is that on his, on his pants? Is that... No. 
That is not. What the? Is, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What kind of stays are that? You better get him some baby wipes quick. He is disgusting. He's filthy. But he is. The light heavyweight he is the light heavyweight champion. I don't know who's going to wear that belt. If he ever loses it, you better disinfect that thing. Wow. I think Dan should get a squeegee and wipe him off. Dirtbag Dan. Oh, he's going to feel something, all right. And you're going to smell something in return. One feels the love, the other one smells... Oh, oh, he is disgusting. But you know what? The fans love him. They, yeah, well, they, they, I guess... I think they're... Immune to the stench? Yeah, maybe. I don't well, know they're, they fa love they're far yeah. enough away. Lock up. Headlock by Dirtbag Dan. He's working that lock. Grinding that head. Reversal into a hammer lock. Now, have you ever been in the ring with him? I haven't been in the ring with e either of them. I don't know if I would want to be in the ring with dirt back then. I'd have to wear a, a clothespin on my nose or have some some uh, vape, Vicks vapor rub up the nostrils. He smells like a crime scene. Oh, my God! I think that's part of his character. I think that, that kind of kip up use that psychological into a wrist lock by by Love Jones. He's holding that wrist lock up tight, turning it into a hammer lock reversal right there. Into a headlock. Love Jones. Dirtbag Dan is tight waist on him. Shoots him off. You know, we have to say that, you know, Love Jones. Duck the clothesline. Oh. Uh, went for the arm drag. Yep. He didn't quite get it. Took the kick. Oh, small, small package. package. One, two. Did he get him? Nope. Sometimes when you go so fast. Arm drag by Love Jones. Look at that. You can make a mistake. Another arm drag by Love Jones. He's arm dragged by Love Jones. And Dirtbag going out, taking a powder, taking a break. You know, it's good to move fast, but you gotta have to close the Whoa! No, that, that, I think that move was uh, quite the abortion right there. Yeah, that, that's uh, high risk, but it also, you know. You take you a chance of breaking your own shoulder. You hurt yourself. Your own your rib cage. Your, look at it. Love Jones on the top row was quite the high flyer. Missed again. I think. Oh, boot to the face uh, by, by Dirtbag Dan. They're called high risk maneuvers. I think that Love Jones should try to refrain from using those. He missed two in a row, but and he missed an arm he's drag. Up. He's got a title shot. Yep. He's trying to go at 110 miles an hour, but the problem is you got to be smart in there, and you got to be calculated. Well, Gino, no offense, but I don't think smart deals with any of these two in here. You know that doesn't <laughs> doesn't. Well, you know, Dirtbag Dan is he's the light heavyweight champion. And he's there for a reason. We could say well, we don't like the way he his personal Wait, hygiene, but did he pin his? Did he pin the previous champion or won by forfeit? With them. stench like that, I don't know if I'd get in the ring. Leg drop by Dirtbag Dan. Oh my God! Yeah, he got he's, a beard like a he's got a beard like a billy goat. Yeah, wow! I tell you what, we're laughing and joking about it, but he is the light heavyweight champion. Exactly. He's he's beaten a lot of and people. And Love Jones looks like a young Jimi Hendrix. He's taking those blows to the back. And imagine if Love Jones was able to win that title tonight. Well, now, Dirtbag well, Dan has quite the Dirtbag Dan is still quite the experience. He's quite, got oh, yeah. quite a resume behind him. You said and it there, the he's been around. He's been around the block a few times. The experience. Is oh, chin breaker by uh, Love Jones. Stuck the clothesline by Dirtbag Dan. Into a oh wow, wow. Oh, Northern Lights. Oh, it's like a reverse Northern Lights. But he landed right, right on, on his, his face, face. man. He, he, oh, look at that. He's down. He, I don't think. I, I see is this at the end. Let's see. He looks like he's out. One, two, three. Dirtbag Dan. Why is he capitalizing? He, he should capitalize on that. He's out. You don't, you don't get paid by the hour? Dan's got the experience here. He should know better. Springboard. He's wasting way too much. I think it's... Moonsault. Actually, he hit him. One, two. Kick out. He wasted too much time. Yeah, I would think with that much time, undecisiveness. Love Jones should have been able to get out of that. All that time he spent picking in the garbage can, he should have spent working out in the ring. Uh, you know, Love Jones may be really hurt from that previous match. He could be hurt. Body slam. 
I think this is it for Love Jones. I don't know how many times he could take it. Well, yeah, he, he's, he's been taking a beat. He's standing on. Oh, flying back elbow. Wait, too much. I think Love Jones is playing possum. Do you think we could have an upset over here? I think we, we may. I think we could have an upset over here. Love Jones getting ducked by. Oh, what was that? Looks like a drop kick to the head. You know, when you're trying to go so fast, again, we talk about being able to control your body. You know, you're, you know, you're excited in there. It's your first title opportunity. He's missing a lot of moves. Super kick by Love Jones. Did he ask the, rescue, the referee to excuse me? He's going to the top again. A high-risk move. Uh, Love great. Jones. Love Jones. Don't do it. Don't do it. Wasting way too much time. And he hit it, but he's, he scored it. I don't know if he got it all right. One. Two wow, and a half. He kicked out. Like track. I said, Dirtbag Dan's been around the corner. He's very experienced. Fans, I don't know and how much time's remaining in this match, but we're going to stick with it in its entirety. Shot him off to the ropes. Big elbow to the chin. Forward roll into another elbow to the a forearm to the chin. Dirtbag dance in the corner. Even back and forth. Can we see a monkey flip? Nope, reversed. Into the corner. Oh, there you go. The you can hear that sound. The slap right across the face. Slapped him. No, no respect. Oh! That might be the move. He's not I, following it up. Springboard, moonsault, lion salt on. I can't believe he kicked out of that. Love Jones has went to the well one too many times. And he's got to get frustrated. He's, hit, get he's hitting every move. Everything. He's hit he his whole away. arsenal, and it's nothing. Dan is tougher than I thought. Uh, you know, he, he's the light heavyweight champion. He's been for some time. But that may change tonight. Duck the line, kick to the gut. Whoa, Whoa nice reverse over. That was a nice maneuver there. Now, oh, I, there I'd goes like small package that. reversal. Do we was have a champ? No, he got it. The both shoulders were there. Both shoulders are down. It looked like. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and still your light heavyweight champion, Turkman's hand. I saw both wow. shoulders to the mat. We have to. We're gonna to have to take another look at that. I gotta look at that videotape. Well, you know, Love Jones hit a lot of high-risk maneuvers during this match, and he missed a lot of potentially effective maneuvers. Yeah. Dirtbag Dan capitalized that, but I think that this is the match which should be reviewed by East Coast professional wrestling officials because I think both shoulders are down at the mat. Well, I'm gonna have to take a look at that. One thing I can tell you is I have a newfound respect for the stinky dirt, dirtbag Dan and I have a newfound respect for Love Jones. Hey wrestling fans, it was a great week of action. Andreas and Gino Caruso. We'll see you next time on more adrenaline action. Say so long, so long.